And welcome to our World Championship pay-per-view action. Alongside my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. So glad you're with us as we welcome you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, with a much-anticipated World Championship on the line tonight. 12 rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. He's got his eye on the prize. He has complete focus on his ring walk here. Introducing first, in the middle corner, by way of Brooklyn, Iron Mark Tyson! And his opponent across the ring, from Los Angeles, Dr. Arn Fist. All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Well, they're scheduled to go to full 12 here tonight. Round one now underway. Quick assessment here as the action Let's is underway. Tyson's fearless. And with that attitude, he's gone right in there and knocked out plenty of opponents. And half of to the body, half to the head. He's an equal opportunist. Mike now facing a pretty well-rounded, well-schooled boxer puncher here, Teddy. Yeah, a guy that he's not going to find just by standing there or just walking forward. He's going to have to cut the ring down. He's going to have to take some air out of the tires, go downstairs to the basement a little bit. He's going to have to work his way in. He might have to earn it tonight. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Stay away from those. Come on. Good, strong combo. Little head knocking with that right hand. Hey, keep your hands up. Let's go. Tyson's on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Or he scores well with the double jab. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. And now he's targeting upstairs. Watch the hook. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Tyson showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Comes right back at him with a left hand. And this round comes to an end, a round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a nonstop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motives. Listen to me. I need you. Here we go. Round two is up. Tyson's been hurt. A headshot blocked. Mike Tyson's in a tough spot here. He could go down with that bad defense. Well targeted two punch combo by Mike Tyson. Tyson was hurt. Now Tyson looks to have his feet back underneath him. 
Yeah, but does he have his mind right? Is he still going to be the seek and destroy fighter that he's been before? He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. He gets off with a combination up top. Tyson's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Okay, back. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Solid left hand. Halfway through this round. Boom, left hand comes home. Tyson's rocked, and his defense is porous right now. Solid. Mike Tyson is on his pants. Iron Mike's got to get Two. back up. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Mike Tyson's feeling the sting of that big uppercut. Bunches and bunches working well. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Gets rid of that body shot. A huge right hand from Mike Tyson. Doubles up the jab to the head. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself. We don't want this to go. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. He comes with the straight right hand. Tyson's coming out here after being knocked down in the previous round. How important is it for him to be cautious here, to make sure that he does have his legs underneath him? You know, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword there, Joe, because if you're too cautious, hey, your opponent, he reads it. You're not in that ring alone. You know, and then he's going to get more aggressive. So you want to go out there, maybe faint him a little bit. Let him think you're okay. Let him think you want to go after him. Let him think you want to engage a little bit. And then wind up boxing, staying on the outside, buying some time. Two snapping jabs by Mike Tyson. That right hand over the top lands flush. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. And he returns on that exchange. Not precise at all by Mike Tyson. He's committed to that jab, and he doesn't just throw one out there, but brings the second one immediately behind it. Mike Tyson's punch didn't come close. That was not well targeted by Mike Tyson. And that's the end of round three. Now start around number four, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard and get his insight. Hits him in the mug with the right. There you go! Right to the belt line. Mike Tyson's punch is far off the target. That's a stinging right hand by Mike Tyson. Keep your distance. See, he's got his guard up really well that time. Oh, he is stunned. Did you see that? Wow, is this good stuff. What good stuff. He just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier. Joe, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually 
set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. Good step back counter punch there. Beautiful. Able to get away. Up top with the right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Very well done by both men to fire off those right hands. Mike Tyson's been having great success with these combinations, Teddy. Well, there's a reason for it. He's using his jab to start it. And then he's letting the punches go, letting their hands follow. Wow, look at that, training shots. The midst of the straight right. End of the round there, a round in which we did see the knockdown. And Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, Typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing out of that? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You drop. You're afraid to go in that room again. So, put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. Goes up top with a right hand. Effective work, the three-punch combination. something for him himself and it's a left hand straight right was lined up but he missed and now he's targeting upstairs oh he took some damage but he gave some back with the right hand Tyson's a brawler, right, Teddy? Yeah, exactly. Is that the style that you think is going to carry him through? Because it's working out so far. Yeah, if he can keep it going this way, you know, he's going to be happy. He wants to keep his opponent. In. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Now, this is a byproduct of his energy level being low. He's desperate, so he ties up his opponent. Well, this is part of being a fighter. This is part of being a pro in anything you do. There's times where it's all going your way. There's times where you got to make it go your way. You got to make an adjustment. He's doing what he has to do. He was damaged moments ago, but now he's got his feet back underneath him. That's a clean shot, able to get in with the right hand. Taking a bit of a breather here, just tying up, hugging his opponent at this point. Hey, look, even the great race cars, Indianapolis 500, bing, 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 zing, zing, zing. They're going around that track, 250 miles an hour. They pull in for a pit stop. They got to get refueled. This is pit stop. Getting a little gas. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. That right hand serving him well. Kenny, you've been in this spot before as a trainer. Your fighter gets rocked, and then you big, big shot comes crashing home. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. One, two, three, four, five. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Trading right hands. Boy, is this a dangerous biz. And yet another big shot comes in. How is this going to go on once again he hits the deck? Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. Somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, 
Now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Committing to the combo now, both land. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. His opponent unable to beat the count. By way of knockouts, your winner and still champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. And Mike Tyson is still heavyweight champion of the world. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe. Tell you.